Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live. It is Thursday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Welcome to this Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. And what up, though? How's everybody been uh, since the last time we got to hang out together, which was only yesterday? I've been pretty good. Uh, the weather's been turning around nice. We had a little cold snap. It is springtime, so the season, it changes. And uh, right now, it is not too bad. It's a little bit cold out, but it's nice enough to come outside and sit inside of the camper and hang out with you guys. I told you all that I was going to do a show from the camper, and this is one of hopefully uh, more to come. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, what's up, Rover? Look, I'm inside the 41-year-old, 41-year-old camper. Uh, we're out here. I'm in the kitchen area. Uh, of the camper sitting at the table. I've got my laptop with my KYY portable monitor attached to it. And we've got just a, like a small handful of products on hand 93 here in Vegas. Let me do a quick weather check for us. Okay. It is, it's 93 Fahrenheit. It's 62 Fahrenheit here. So a little bit chilly, 17 degrees Celsius, we might say uh, here in Canada, which is not a bad, not bad. And I live close to Detroit where they use Fahrenheit. So 62, it's a, it's a cool day, but it's a nice day. The sun is out. And actually at this time now, 5 PM Eastern, uh, this is like the warmest part of the day, actually. So very, very nice to be outside. I've got the door open, fresh air. I plugged the camper into the house for some electricity. So I got a little light bulb above me that is kind of glaring off the wall behind me. But hey, I'm so excited to be here now uh, with you all. <coughs> Excuse me, again, in the camper, okay? So I'm pretty, I'm loving it. Uh, professional lighting. Oh, hey, thanks. It's, <laughs> look, it's... <laughs> It's this. It's one bulb. It, it makes it look more than it is. Look, it's literally just one bulb. You see, see how the top isn't populated? It's just one single 100 watt bulb here. You know, I took so long to get that angle right before I went live today. <clears throat> all right, that's not too bad, I think. Uh, all right, uh, I've got to go get ready. I've got to go get the little one, then getting the baby too. Wish me luck. I thought the little one was the baby. Oh, my goodness. It sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Um, have a nice time handling all of that, and hopefully we'll get the opportunity to see you join us again, Stargazer. It's so nice of you to come and hang out for even just a moment to say hello. Uh, check my Facebook, doing a bunch of things. Yo, I like things. I check your Facebook, dude. I check your Facebook and I enter the ones that I think that I want in 2022. I was just like constantly, constantly, constantly going. And it was a, a lot. And I was fortunate, you know, uh, but it was a lot of time. And so I still have dailies, but now, you know what, instead of having like 250 dailies, and spending like two hours a day doing it. Now I've got around maybe like, how many do I have today? I'll tell you. Now I have 37. And some of those are just like direct links that are a page that hasn't been updated. So I'm just waiting for the page to update with a new thing. And, um, and so I just keep them like bookmarked because they don't change the URL ever. You know what I'm trying to say? And uh, so, yeah, so like those are gone. So right now, re in reality, I probably got like maybe 30 dailies, I'd say. Maybe I got like 30 dailies. And so uh, it is a lot of time and I only want a few little things lately. But I want a VR game that I'm going to dive into this weekend. Yo, that sounds sweet. That sounds super sweet. Um, yeah, you know, I just, I like I was saying, I did so many things that it was a lot of time. Now I just do the things that I want to do or the things that I see have like uh, a greater value. You know what I mean? For like the time that I'm spending to do it. And like, um, yeah, you know, I just do what I think that I want and not everything in sight now. And, and now maybe I got, like I said, like 30, 40 things maybe 
uh, like cycling through at a time. And uh, I'm not afraid to add more. That's just where I'm at. And so I just keep doing them. It maybe takes me like 25 minutes a day right now, 25, 30 minutes a day. But also don't get it mixed up because I'm doing things throughout the day as well, right? So if I'm just like hanging out, watching a video and I see something to do, then I might do a thing, you know, but. As far as the dailies go, I got maybe like 35 things and it takes me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to do. I check around 9 a.m., then just after 5, then I just do them once. I just do them once. You know, I was doing that as well, but I stopped doing that and now I just do everything once. And it's like, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Hey, what's up, Seabass? How you doing? All right, Stargazer, have a good time. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today here. Uh, and if you get time to come back and chill, hopefully we'll get to see you then. <clears throat> All right, now it's Thursday. We are in the camper today. We've got a special show. We are sitting down. You know what that means? It means we have the opportunity today to look at a few more b-roll videos so we're going to take a look at some products that we don't normally take a look at we're going to take a look at some things that we do normally look at and uh using sea monkey makes it easy um to have everything set up you know i look okay i can't i shouldn't be talking on all that stuff right here right now but i have looked into that but it was a long time ago and i'm maybe i'm old school maybe i'm maybe i'm old school i don't know but i just got a bunch of bookmarks and I right click on my bookmarks bar and I open all of them at once, once a day, usually around 11 PM Eastern, 1130, maybe try to get at it at 11 o'clock and then just do it. So tell me more about it in, in a private space. That works. Yeah. Tell me more about what you're talking though up in a in a private space, okay? And uh, I got uh, I got my water on the floor today, so if you see me lean down here, I just got all of the equipment on the table, so we're not no water around the equipment, you know. <clears throat> all right, now. Uh, we got just a few people watching the show here right now, so you must be familiar with the drill, okay? It is Thursday. We are talking deals today. I've got some products on hand. I've got some products that I had a hard time finding in the house today, so we're going to be taking a closer look at their product pages, and uh, that's where I'm at with that one. But we are going to start today's show off right with a product on hand. And these are going to be the Tagri X08 Bluetooth headphones, okay? These little in-ear monitors come in several different colors. I've got mine here now. I just want to show you the box real quick as we try to do. So here's the box for the Tagri X08 uh, True Wireless Earbuds, it says here. Now, when we open these, we can see that it has a nice display on the battery charging case. Uh, and there's 95% left charge in the battery. And when we pull the headphones out, okay, they, uh, they instantly start flashing blue and red, indicating that they're ready to pair with a nearby device. Uh, and once you pair one, then you pull out the other one, and I believe that it pairs automatically. Also, the X08s have, again, I believe up to six hours of playback time. They don't put the specs on the mic, uh, on the box. About six hours of playtime on a single full charge with the Tagries, and then standby time is up to, uh, oh, not charging with the batteries. Standby time is up to 60 hours, okay? So if you have these fully charged, they're good for up to 60 hours. Okay, smart touch controls, built-in microphones. Also, these are rated IPX5 waterproof. So you're not going to want to submerge these, but you absolutely are going to be able to sweat in them, and it's not going to be a big issue, okay? Uh, I love the purple color. Initially, when I opened the box, I thought that it was blue. <clears throat> I thought that it was blue, but I clicked through the carousel and I went to the product page and I learned that this is their 
purple version. So I thought it was a periwinkle. They do have a very nice blue color as well. It's like more of a dark kind of navy blue. And uh, do those ear buds pop out of your ears? Rover, you know, I never, ever stopped thinking about how you said that um, everything that you get is no good for you and that they fall out. And so I know, like, I'm kind of fumbling at this here. There we go. Uh, now, okay, you make an excellent question. Thank you for asking that question, actually. Do those ear buds pop out of your ears? I'm going to say probably no. You know what I mean? The silicone um, earbuds that are designed to go around the nozzle of the earbud, it's pretty good to be feeling confident in your ear i've only got one bud in right now and like i don't see myself shaking my head too much harder than this you know with them in and they feel quite fine and uh outside of tagri i know that there is a i don't know if you're seeing ads on your social media for it or not but there is a set of headphones currently that is advertising that they have um an inflatable ear uh what, what do they call them? Not earbuds, not the earbud. I guess the earbud is inflatable because the, the silicone around it uh, must be permanently attached, shouldn't it? If you're going to be inflating a little bag. What do you think about that, bro? Do you think that that's something that you would be interested in? A, a set of in-ear monitor, a little IEM, a little earbud that has an inflatable uh, device to hold it in your ear securely? I had them just pop out without shaking and moving heads. I know you did. Now, also, uh, they do come with several different sizes in a bag. So you do get the small, medium, and large size um, uh, earbuds. What do they call them? They're not earbuds. The whole thing is an earbud. It's called tips. They do just call them ear tips, earbud tips. Okay, so it's just tips. All right, good enough. Um, yeah, so what do you think then about ones that are inflatable ear tips, okay? The Tagri X08, though, like you were asking, uh, if they fall out, well, they may if you're not using the correct feeling size ear tip for you, all right? Now, once again, the Tagri X08 comes with the small ear tips, as well as medium and large ear tips in the bag. The Tagri also is included a very short USB to USB-C charging cable so that you can charge your, um, your earbud protector and battery charger, your earbud case and, and battery uh, via USB-C. All right, so very simple to plug that in and then plug it in via USB to charge. Never have seen them. If you have a link, DM it to me. Okay, can you can you please ask me for that link right now in the DM and then I will remember and I'll get it to you because I will forget while I'm doing all of this other product talk. So please just ask me and I'm, I'm more than happy to give it to you. <clears throat> all right, the Tagri X08s um, are traditionally $50, but we're talking deals today on the show. And so you can get these for actually 41% off of that retail price and put the Tagri Bluetooth X08 head uh, earbuds in your cart today for $29.73. Hey, what's up, Joanna? It's great to see you. Thank you for joining the show today. Now, I'm going to push through this one right quick because... Uh, it's going to force my hand to do a couple of things on today's show. First of all, it's going to make me share my screen with you all. And uh, I want to do that. So before I do, I just want to be grabbing the link. And then I don't, I'm pretty sure I did not make a video for this. Yes, I did not. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's take a look at this, though, here. Now, just give me one moment to share my screen. I'm going to present that to you, and we're going to take a look at this together. Uh, okay, here's my screen. 
sharing with you all. Let me adjust my view. Wonderful. Also, I'd like it when it's a little bit dark. It makes it kind of easier to see. So let's format this real quick. Oh, that's so much nicer. Okay, dark mode. And with dark mode enabled now, let's take a look at the HTV Ront heat transfer paper. Now, this heat transfer paper, I believe, is for dark colored shirts. Yeah, this is transfer paper for dark fabric, okay? And there is a difference between um, heat transfer paper that you're using on lighter colors uh, as well as darker colors, okay? So... Finally getting hands and dishes, so needed to say hi. Oh, I'm so good. Uh, I'm so glad that you get to do your dishes. Do you ever see on Amazon those giant... We're going to come back to the uh, heat transfer paper in just a moment, but do you ever see um, those giant, like, racks that straddle your double sink in your kitchen and, like, all your dishes hang up above it and, like, drip down? Your drip tray, like, drips down into the sink. It's, like, highly elevated. It looks really, really cool. Let me see if I can grab a picture of one of those real quick. Um, uh, over sink, I guess, maybe. Dish rack. Yeah, yeah, this, this. Let me get this, but I got to show it on a different thing. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. Okay, we're going to take a look. Let's take a look at, you don't know, you don't have one or you don't know what I'm talking about? Because uh, I forget already what I asked. But let's jump back to our show, okay? And let's jump down and take a look here at our HTV Ron product. This is heat transfer paper for dark shirts, like I was saying, for dark fabric, okay? So yeah, like I was saying, there is a difference between fat heat transfer paper that is designed for dark shirts as, as well as light shirts. Even colored shirts, I believe, have their own type of heat transfer for them. You hadn't seen it? Okay, sweet. I got it queued up. And uh, we're going to show it right after this. I'll, I'll pick a random one and add it to my carousel. And then we'll talk about it real quick. Because they look really cool. But I don't know if I would want one. But I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Okay. Now, the HTV Ront, though, uh, here it is. These are the uh, – all you need is a printer. You peel the backing paper, put it on your shirt, and then iron it. Now, you can use a traditional iron like they show here in this image or if you have a – heat transfer uh, machine, like maybe one designed by the Hicks company, or if you have one of those, I believe they're called Cricut heat transfer uh, machines, then those will also work as well. It's just something that is using heat to transfer your image. So I love this. I've got a couple of these and I'm just saying like, I know that I should have, I do have this on hand. I own this, but I'm having a hard time uh, locating my particular on-hand product today. So while it is in the house, it just is a big encouraging thing to get all my products organized so that I know where they all are at all times. Um, yeah, vibrant colors, vivid details, soft material, stretchable and durable. Now, don't forget, like I do with all of my t-shirts, let me ask you in the chat this, okay? do you wear a lot of t-shirts with a lot of prints on them? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like a uh, t-shirt, t-shirt with a print on it like this. Do you have a lot of these? <clears throat> and if you do, are you the type of person that just scrunches your t-shirts up on the floor when it's laundry day and let them all bunch up and fold up and not look good? Or do you actually lay your clothing out when it comes to t-shirts I learned a long, long time ago that just laying your t-shirt out is so easy to do and it doesn't, and it really affects the longevity of the shirt, you know? So uh, usually I wash my t-shirts and air dry them because also the heat on the transfer uh, can like help it harden or soften or shrink or whatever. So while the HTV Ron uh, transfer paper is durable, Okay, as claimed by this image here, let's jump back down here. Um, 
I still hang everything that I like. Like if it's just an old work shirt, I'm just going to probably throw it on the floor or whatever. But like all my dragon blogger shirts, all the t-shirts that I like to wear uh, aesthetically, they all go on hangers and they all hang up when they're not in, in use, like when they're going to laundry and they get hung up after wash, never heat dry my t-shirts. All right. Uh, I think that's sound advice and a good little anecdote to talk about while we are talking heat transfer paper. Okay. Okay. Now these heat transfer papers come in sheet sizes that are eight and a half by 11 and come in a uh, 20 pack. Okay. So it comes in a 20 pack. It's just wrapped in a plastic bag basically. And uh, these heat transfer papers for dark colored fabric are available today for $15. This is 17% off of its traditional $18 retail value. Hey, what's up, June? Much clown love, man. How you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Yo, I, um, I wish my laundry would hang itself up. You know, I just, and I hate folding laundry. I hate folding laundry. So hanging all the t-shirts is so much easier and so much more practical to do. Um, and, and I love it. I love it because, uh, my t-shirts last so much longer. I've got t-shirts from 2016. I've got t-shirts from before 2016, but I was just thinking about my purple shirt and, uh, like you should see it. I wear it like all the time and it still looks, I believe pretty phenomenal for the age that it is. Why? Because I hang it up and I don't heat dry it in the dryer. I just let them air dry. And also, when you heat dry it, the shirt can wrinkle up around the uh, around the um, the print, the print, right? And you don't want that either. Okay, now that is then the HTV Runt heat transfer paper. Once again, today, this twenty pack of eight and a half by eleven sheets is 17% off of its $18 retail value coming at you today for $15, okay? All right, so let's reinstate this shot here. Beautiful, bling, eh? And um, let's let's add that product real quick. Let's add that product that I was talking about, Oversync Dish Rack. So let me see, let me see which one looks good. Let's pick the most... Let's pick the most expensive one within the top th three rows. Okay, $60. $60. $129. Okay, let's just go. We're just going to go crazy fancy. Yeah, let's, dude, are you kidding? All right, let's just go crazy fancy with it. I'm going to pick the $130 one, okay? So give me just a quick second here to add this ASIN to our show today. And when we do that, we'll be able to take a look at the product that I'm talking about. Oh, no. What happened? Did I click the store link or something? I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh, there we go. I did accidentally click the store link. Uh, all right, let me add this ASIN to our show, and then we'll take a look at this together. I'm so excited for you to see this. Uh, okay, so B096. Seven Z5. WQ8. Okay. B0, not O. Yes. Oh, it's on deal too. It's on deal today and there's a coupon. Oh, we're adding this to the pro to the carousel right now. Added. Return to live stream. This is going to be so sweet. Yo, Joanna, this one's for you today. This one's for you today. No, no, don't holy cow yet. Don't react until I get there with you, okay? All right, let me open up my product page here for it and uh, let's share this page with each other now. And uh, what is... Oh, okay, I understand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just build a little more suspense real quick and drink this water. Okay. And then we will uh, take a look at the page together. Okay. Yeah. It's nice, right? Oh my God. You double react. Okay. Let's show the page. 
This is the Boosany Oversink Dish Dry. Uh, excuse me. This is the Boosany Oversink Dish Drying Rack. It is adjustable from 25 point 25 and a half inches to 35 and a half inches. It's a three tier large dish rack that is also a drainer that acts as kitchen storage. It's made out of full 304 stainless steel, uh, the shelving, uh, and has a utensil holder and 10 hooks. This is available to look at this thing, dude. This is available today for $130, which is 19% off from its traditional $160 retail value. And there's an additional $10 applicable coupon on this product today. How sick is this thing, dude? That's crazy. Look, they got like a small stand mixer, okay, up on the top shelf, several pots, several other heavier objects like pounds of spices, it looks like, or half pounds at least. Show the neighbors what fine dishes you have. Yeah, well, yeah, it does kind of like obstruct the window a little bit. But man, look, it has like a little board on the side. Like what is even that board for? I really enjoy this thing. It looks really cool because I have extremely, it's massive. Uh, yeah, 20, 25 and a half inches is uh, the shortest length. That's about half of my, that 25 inches, I mean, up to 33 and a half inches. Well, it's massive in height for sure, but uh, the adjustable length seems, like, is that what it is? Adjustable height or adjustable length? Because, like, honestly... It doesn't look like it's adjustable length based on the way that the the racks are. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a let's click on this and look at some other pictures. So if you never even I don't have a window there, so all good. Yo, do you even like do you like this? You think this is cool? I mean, you did put the heart emojis, so uh, okay, so it's Oh, so it is extendable. Look at this. It's extendable from 25 and a half inches up to 35 and a half inches. Very, very cool. It's just about a foot out from the wall, which is not that bad, a foot out. It's still going to give you big access to all of your sink. And it's 31 and a half inches high. And look at the uh, look at the major stands, the legs, okay? The legs have adjustable holes for the racks. So you can put the racks wherever you want. That's really nice. I don't have a window, but I could put it there. I think the window in the picture, honestly, is just like for aesthetic so that they're not showing a flat wall. And in my house, my kitchen does have a window in front of it, but uh, it looks like it's quite manageable to be able to still, you might obstruct the window with this rack, but I still believe that it looks simple enough to be able to reach back and open your window, whether it's a crank or a slide type. But that is to be determined if you were to buy it. I'll put it in my wish list and think about it. Yo, putting it in your wish list and think about it, thinking about it is uh, so kind because that cookie lasts for, I believe, 29 days. So if you end up making the purchase, uh, we still get the conversion. So, of course, uh, letting you know that your cookie is good Oh, sorry, not your wish list. Excuse me, not your wish list. Uh, if you were to put it in your cart but not complete the purchase, the cookie for the commission is still good for 29 days. Not wish list, excuse me. I was just getting so excited uh, that somebody was adding it to a list. Uh, Y'all, my wife has a uh, pink eye in both of our eyes. Our doctor says she's never seen it this bad. Yikes, picking up some powerful meds for her. I just want you to know that for the first 75% of that statement, I thought that you were dad joking me, but then when the last sentence wasn't a punchline, I'm sorry to hear that about your wife. I hope that she can feel better soon. Squeeze that cream into her eye, okay? Holy cow, I've got to go look at this more in depth. Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got a little bit distracted by the pink eye there real quick. There's a 360 view. Let's check that out. Okay, all right, whatever. I got a... I, I got my hover zoom on, so it kind of like, maybe we can grab it real quick. There we go. That's cool, dude. 
You can see on the back actually that it has the uh, sorry for about my hover zoom, um, always making the image bigger. But look at the look at the right side where it looks like it extends. Isn't that cool? Because uh, it does. <laughs> it does extend, but it has nice little black turning knobs there that you can utilize to hold the rack um, uh, well good in place. I like that. And the thing about having those and being able to twist it and slide it and then retwist it to lock it, as opposed to like a uh, like a thumb punch one that you might see like on an umbrella or I don't know what else a good example is that you can fine tune this when you have the pre punched holes, right? You have, you're like uh, obligated to those specific measurements, which still isn't so bad, but with the twist method, very nice. Do you get commission if I got the smaller version? I believe, um, I believe that the commission, uh, I believe if you click, I don't know 100% for certain. So I'm going to immediately ask Justin, but I believe, and I could be incorrect. Okay. But I believe if you click through the carousel and then like navigated to the store and put something else in your cart, like you're still shopping through our thing, you know what I'm trying to say? So I, I, I think yes, but I'm not certain. I'm going to take a quick second to ask Justin. And then uh, we're going to take another fast look at this. I, I'm so stoked by it. Uh, but yeah, $130 today plus an additional $10 off if you do add the big one to your cart. Now, let me just send a message off to everybody's friend. Okay. His name is Justin. And uh, I want, okay, um, uh, I want to know if someone clicks through and doesn't buy the product, but buys a uh, similar, uh, similar, say, smaller version of it. Um, do we get the conversion? Do we get the conversion? Um, or, uh, we'll just see what he says about that. We'll see what he says about that. That's, that's, uh, that is what I heard, but I want to verify on the same page. Just say that the, uh, the product is on the same page uh, as the one we are talking about okay yo let's leave uh this in justin sometimes is a little bit busy around this time of day so we're gonna let him do his thing and we will check in with him in just a moment uh joanna i know of, of all of our viewers you're so extremely patient and uh, generous with your time so uh, I feel confident making the assumption you don't mind waiting a minute while we take a closer look. Wow, we got five people that clicked through the carousel on this product. This is, okay, let's let's talk about it a little bit more since it's the hottest product um, being clicked through right now. And then uh, we got to get back to some more B-roll videos. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, the Boosney Oversink Dish Drying Rack. Let's see what it says uh, about this item. This is, let's make this text a little bit bigger. Okay, this is full 304 stainless steel. It is a sturdy dish rack, uh, again, made of high quality stainless steel and passed a 24-hour salt test, okay? This, this dish drainer is strong. Um, it... Uh, it's strong, corrosion resistant, and rust resistant, which is, which is made to last. Okay, heavy duty metal shelf can hold up to 180 pounds. It is stable and not leaning forward. It has anti slip suction cups at the bottom for reinforcement and stability. Now, before I read further, because I don't know what all this says, uh, what if you have like a counter that kind of has a little lean in it. Maybe you got to get your countertops redone. 
guilty. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that there are adjustable legs that I can screw like in and out to adjust the lean to counteract its levelness? I wonder, I wonder, or I wonder if I'm just putting like, I don't know, something else underneath it. I've got all evening until someone yells. Thank you, Joanna. Um, upgradable version, adjustable height. Oh, it's the upgraded version has adjustable height. Okay. Uh, two layers of expandable design. The size of this oversink dish drying rack is 22.6 to 33 and a half by 11.9 and 31 inches high. Freely modify the length of the dish rack. Okay. I mean, everything that they're saying here is what we've already uh, um, gathered from the, from like just literally looking at it. Space saving and large capacity. This dish drying rack makes perfect use of the space above the sink and frees up your counter space, especially for small kitchens and apartments. Once again, guilty. I got a small kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Um, the dish drainers for the... Okay. Freeze up small apartments. The dish drainers for the kitchen counter can store various sizes of utensils, including two main racks, one cutlery holder, a knife holder. What's the difference between cutlery and knives? Like scissors? Cutlery is scissors? A detergent holder, cutting board rack, which is crazy uh, cool, I think. Cup holder, one cup holder, and 10 practical hooks. All the accessories are made of 304 stainless steel without worrying about transportation damage. Okay. Easy to clean and assemble as well. Yeah. Very, very cool. Super adjustable. Uh, this is the, this is once again, I want to tell you the name of it. Um, the Boozany Oversink Dish Drying Rack. Very nice. It also says not block the view, but I'm just saying like, kind of blocks the view but when it's adjustable height you can adjust it to the height that you want so that your view is not obstructed okay if you do put this above your sink in front of your window for example uh i did just replace countertops in the last two weeks i've had the same countertop since i moved into my place and i need floors and countertops like so bad so bad all right. Wow. What a great product that we randomly added to our carousel. Joanna, I didn't know that you didn't know anything about over sink drying racks. So, you know, obviously then like there are competitors for this product, this type of product, they make single racks, they make them out of plastic or they make them out of a steel that is coated in a plastic. You know what I mean? I did say, let's do a search and pick the most expensive one. And uh, we got five clicks through on the carousel. So a lot of people really seem to be interested in that. Okay. Uh, sorry for the shaking here. I'm just leaning my hands on my table. All right. All right. That's the Boosney Oversink um, dish rack. All right. Now floors are getting ready. Oh, man. I want to get no carpet. That's what I'd like to do. No carpet. <clears throat> All right, now let's take a look at the next product that I do have highlighted here in my carousel. And this is going to be my KYY portable monitor. All right, now the I've seen that rollout drying one. Is that like one that just like goes directly over the sink, like and flat tops your sink? And I don't know about those. I think that they are like a good I idea for inside my camper here. But uh, maybe not for inside my house, even though I'm limited on countertop space, maybe one, maybe like one that inlays or maybe like one that inlays and has a little bit of an angle on it so that like I could wash all my produce in the sink and then it just goes down like a little a little slot and then into the sink drain. That would be cool. But it makes no sense to me. There's no dividers to hold roll scripts. Um, floors. Are gonna do -do -do. I've seen that roll of drying one. But it makes no sense. There's no dividers. Well, yeah, like I'm saying, like maybe they're not good for like uh, being great drying racks or whatever. But when it comes to just having the ability to in my camper, even in your house, but in the camper, have the ability to put like something solid over top of the sink and increase that surface area that's really really well used especially when uh especially when like once again festival season and you got a couple people in the camper living for a couple days and we're not using the water in the sink having that extra countertop space is very very helpful 
All right, the KYY portable monitor, I've got it right here. Um, I bet it's easier probably to hold the uh, monitor up than it would be to move the camera. So let's do that. Okay, let's do that. All right, so what I have here actually now is the highlighted product in the carousel. This is the KYY portable monitor, all right? Now, this portable monitor has a uh, included screen protector that covers the front and the back of the monitor. The monitor also has little one watt speakers built into it. Now, as you can see this kind of like ridge here, where the, uh, where the monitor uh, protector is bending, all right? It's actually magnified. It's kind of hard to do the demo here, but uh, it's actually magnified, and it will adhere to itself. And then you can take the monitor cover and pop the screen out and rest it in this groove, okay? And then it holds it very well, good in place, on a flat, solid surface as a landscape mode uh, monitor stand, which I think is really cool. <clears throat> now, the the KYY monitor is, uh, this one is a 1080p resolution and a 15.6 inch size, screen size. And uh, it has two USB, I got to hold this more carefully, okay? We're going to actually take the protective cover off momentarily so that it doesn't slip out of my hands. All right, so the KYY monitor, what does it have? Well, it has two USB-C ports, all right? as well as a mini HDMI input. All of these are individual inputs that can be selected. So you can have multiple devices connected to your KYY monitor at all times. Now, the monitor uh, is not a touch screen, okay? And what I really love the most about it is, uh, I hate pinching it with my hands here, but I love that it has a single USB-C connection right now to my laptop all right so this is the laptop is plugged in even if it wasn't plugged in the laptop is pushing power and a video source over a single usb-c cable i love that so much okay all right now on the other side of the monitor there is a headphone in port or excuse me an audio out port okay a rocker switch to navigate your on-screen display as well as your volume controls and of course a power button to turn the monitor on and off i love my kyy portable monitor it's so great because of that single cable connection all right and uh, having that single cable connection makes it so easy to plug whatever you need into uh, this device. Now, don't forget that not all devices send power over the cable. So like if you have an iPhone, you will require a HDMI out adapter, okay? And that will probably have to be powered as well, uh, which means you will have to self-power the monitor. But you can do that by plugging it into a battery charging adapter um, or uh, any battery that you have that is USB to USB-C, okay, compliant. Um, yeah, love portable monitor. Edward, what's up, man? So nice to see you out here. Love the portable monitor. The only thing I got to say I'm jealous of, Joanna, is, excuse me, that yours does portrait. That's it. But all I need to do is just get a little stand for that. Maybe something similar to this handle bill stand that I got for the phone, something like this. <laughs> That is good for up to 15.6 inch monitors at least. And it would also be cool um, that it rotates, right? So that I can switch to landscape and portrait at my leisure. Yes, got it that way now. Oh, it's so cool, Joanna. So cool. All right, let me check my Discord and check about that commission. And then if I don't have information to give, we will go on to our next product, okay? So no no reply yet, no reply yet. Okay, the KYY portable monitor, ultra dope, okay? Very fresh and available today for $140. And I'm super, super confident that 
I didn't click through my carousel, but I'm very, very confident that there's an additional $40 coupon on that. But you know what? Can't go talking about it if you don't check it. So let me see here. Click through, click through. Talk about it. 109, 139. And yes, of course. It still has that $40 coupon. So if you're looking to get an external monitor for your computer or your laptop or your phone, you can plug your phone into this, your Android phone or your iPhone uh, or your tablet, right? Then consider the KYY portable monitor. It is a 1080p resolution and available today on sale to 36% off of its $220 retail value coming at you for 140 today. Click through the carousel, add it to your cart and apply an additional $40 coupon. You put this in your cart today for a hundred bucks. I mean, that's a really, really good deal. And for a hundred bucks, I mean, that is like a, a really, it, I think that's great. That's a great gift. That's a great add on to your portable power, to your portable workstation. And uh, it makes a really great gift too. At, at, at such a steal of a hundred dollars today. All right. Now let's talk about the next product that I've got in my carousel. This is going to be the Huanawo triple monitor arm stand. Now the triple monitor arm stand is uh in the house it's in the house we are outside in the camper today so i'm just gonna grab this product page and then we're gonna search for this product there we go Ooh, and guess what it's on deal of course we're having a fun little stream talking about all deals today all right now let me share this product page with us uh with the with the chat you guys there okay the huanawo triple monitor arm stand according to this description is a full motion articulating gas spring monitor uh that is capable of fitting up to three 17 to 32 inch flat or curved monitors um with clamp uh, with clamp and grommet kit yes and this is the one coming in a silver colorway today now when i got mine a while ago silver was the only one that was on sale and i wasn't a big like i didn't care much about the colors so i got silver but they do offer it in black okay and they offer it in i guess white version as well um but I got the silver version because it was cheaper. Today, all of these seem to be the same cost. So very nice. Now, the Huanua triple monitor arm stand is, is a fantastic uh, monitor arm stand because the outer leg or arm, okay, that the VESA mount connects to is gas actuated and extremely easy to adjust with the included Allen key. Uh, now, as you can see, it also has a middle arm and then like the the third arm that is touching and mounting to the center pole. If you have monitors, okay, that are under 24 in, 24 inches and under, you're not required if you don't want to, uh, to put that middle arm on, okay? So you just put the outer, you put the bar attaching arm on and then the gas actuated arm. And uh, look at that huge gap, 74 inches. It's massive. I have shown you guys my 32 inch portrait monitor on my workstation several times in the past. And that big 32 inch monitor is actually an old TV and it weighs about six pounds, okay? The weight capacity supported by each of the arms is 17.6 pounds, okay? So that's 17 and a half pounds across each monitor arm, okay? Both actuating arms and the center pole. Uh, the center pole has a VESA mount that is different than the VESA mounts for the gas actuating arms. The assembly is extremely easy. And also the, um, the bar, the bar clamps to your desk. Okay. So I don't know if you have, if you can see, but, uh, let's see, where's the, uh, where's there a better picture here? Okay, great picture here. So here we have two mounting options for the Huano triple monitor arm. Okay, uh, mount. You can do the clamp mounting like on the top of the desk here. And the clamp mount is just put down the V stand, right? And then, and then twist that bar up until it tightens around your 
uh, desktop. Now, when it comes to the clamping method, I've got to say, uh, I never tried to use the Huanuo triple monitor arm stand without first getting a little clamping uh, plate. So I ended up buying like a little plate for around 20 bucks that just fit my desk nice and would act as like a prevention of any type of like overstressing or over tightening the clamp that could cause potential like digs or nooks or, or, or whatever unwanted scratches uh, into your desk's surface. So I like that a lot. And then as you can maybe see here in the other picture underneath, they do have the grommet mounting. Now the grommet mounting I'm kind of unfamiliar with, but it just looks like you already would have a hole in your desk uh, that you can then slip up uh, like the shaft through and tighten that way. I really, really love this triple monitor arm, dude. It's so great. And I'm trying to get like three 32-inch monitors myself, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. That's going to take a little bit of time before I can do that. But I'm really excited to try to figure that out. And that is the sole reason that I purchased the Huanuo triple monitor arm stand, okay? Because... I am I'm wanting to build up my battle station to have at least three 32-inch monitors. And uh, being able to put them in any position I want, grab the monitor and rotate it into portrait or back to landscape, you get it. You get it. So I'm just saying I love the Huanuo triple monitor arm stand. If you're looking for a monitor arm stand uh, and, this, and this big triple guy is not what you are interested in, uh, as always, I implore you to click through the carousel, okay, and navigate to the Huanuo store and see what other monitor arm stands that they may have in stock uh, that could be interesting to you. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, the this triple monitor arm stand today is 15% off of its $140 retail value, making it $119 today. Unfortunately, no additional deals but yeah, man, I really love my triple monitor arm stand. It's something that I'm going to be able to utilize forever. You know what I mean? Because of, like, it's just going to be, when am I going to need to mount like a larger than a 32 inch thing? I, I, I just can't see it when I'm sitting in front of a computer, three of them. Come on, bro. <clears throat> All right. Now let's talk about the next product that I have in my carousel. This is going to be a fun little guy here. This is the Tribit Stormbox Blast. Now, the Tribit Stormbox Blast is a USB speaker. Uh, here's what it looks like. Okay, we're going to hold it down just a little bit. Uh, we can adjust our camera a little bit just for this shot. Okay, now the Tribit Stormbox Blast is a 90-watt Bluetooth speaker. It's IPX7 water-resistant and buoyant. It has really nice uh, LED light show that shines on the speakers as well as these equalizers. Uh, I'm not playing audio through it right now, so we don't get that wonderful uh, effect. But the effect can be changed as well as the sound of the audio with the Equalizer app and the light changing um, feature within the Tribit app. Okay, so download that Tribit app for free so that you can do that. I feel like I kind of stammered through that. So real quick again, you can download the Tribit app for free and then you can change the way the Stormbox Blast sounds with the included equalizer portion of that app, as well as um, have fun with the beat-driven light show uh, through the app as well. Okay, on the not only does it have the speakers and the tweeters in the front, but it also has these passive bass radiating speakers on each side. And behind this little rubber compartment here, we have the ability to charge the the uh, blast the stormbox blast as well as um charge out from it and it also features a three and a half millimeter headphone jack uh which i commonly refer to as a headphone jack but it is just really a three and a half millimeter audio jack that acts as an output as an input an input it's not a headphone jack it acts as an input so if you don't connect via bluetooth then you can still hardline your favorite device to the Tribit Stormbox Blast. I love this thing. It's very loud, but it's very heavy, okay? So even though it is portable, it does have some significant weight to it, uh, and it offers up to 
30 hours of playback. So I really like this boy a lot. And uh, I got to put it back ugh, over here and let you know that the Trippet Stormbox Blast is normally 200. Is that, uh, is it 110 volt chargeable? You know how it has like the common two prong. I, I don't know the appropriate name of the adapter. Um, I'm going to learn it right now. Okay. Common two prong plug for like PlayStation, you know, AC power cable replacement. Okay. Amazon basics has one replacement power cable. What is the name of the end on the power cable though? Figure eight female connector. It's a figure eight connector. Is that the right not is that the right term? I mean it must be figure eight connector. Uh yeah, it is. It is. The Soundcore uses USB C for charging. Um, yes, the Soundcore Motion Boom. The Soundcore, I guess the majority of them do use USB C charging in and USB charging out yes on the soundcore product this is and i know you know this is the um the trivet storm box so this is not a soundcore product and so yes to charge the battery to charge the battery on the trivet storm box blast it is a figure eight connector what an easy easy way to remember that connector so hopefully i'll remember that for the next time we talk about it but yeah a figure eight female on the uh why well, which one's the male and which one's the female? Because the, the plug that you would plug in is male, but has female plugs. And then you plug it into a socket that has pins protruding. So which one is the female? Is it on the cord, the one that you push in? Or is it the one that is received? You, I, I would think, uh, I would think, and ex excuse me, Excuse me, but I would think that the one that you plug it into would be the receiver, right? So this would be the female. This would be figure eight female because it receives it. And then the one that is on the plug, the AC plug itself, is the male, right? Is that it? Uh, let me know if that's it. I'm going to stop doing this and uh, let you know that the Tribute Stormbox Blast does have the ability to be charged with a figure eight plug. Okay. Also it features USB C to charge out. And again, features that three and a half millimeter audio jack that acts as audio input. Okay. So if you don't have Bluetooth, you can still keep the party going. The weight of the trivet is the 110 to lower voltage circuit transformer. Yeah. The transformer is absolutely. Yeah, for sure. For sure, but it does offer up to 30 hours of playback and the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Well, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, this is 90 watts. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is only 80 watts and uh, and um, uh, it's USB-C charging. Yeah, right in, you know what I'm saying? So there is not the transformer in it. That's what you're getting at, but... It only offers up to 20 hours of playback, 80 watts and 20 hours of playback. This is 90 watts and 30 hours of playback. So it is a bit of a step up, you know what I'm saying, uh, between those two specific brands. All right, the Tribit Stormbox Blast on average is coming at you for $270. Today, it is 42% marked down from that retail value. And you can put this in your cart today for $155.98. So $100. $56 today for the Trivet Storm Box Blast. All right. Now, let us carry on with today's show. It's already 6 o'clock, and we did so much sweet talking about all that other stuff. So we gotta, we're going to keep it going. All right. Here's a product that I'm familiar with talking to. Uh, okay. Called the female side. The cord is the male end. Yeah, because of the way that it is received. Okay, enough. Enough of that. Enough of that. Okay, let's talk about the Apier S. Uh, excuse me. Let's now talk about the Apier Seagull SE. Okay, this is a cordless robotic pool vacuum cleaner. 
I want to show this video to you all now. Let's get into it. Talking about this awesome cordless robotic pool cleaner made by yours truly, Aper, right there. There's uh, some key features on the front of the box right here. You, Like I said, it's cordless. It runs up to an hour and a half. It has uh, improved charging on it, and it cleans pools up to 850 square feet. It is also portable right here. And you also have that cell parking capabilities, which it parks on the, on the side of the pool. You also want to make sure you open this uh, little envelope that they have right here because it has this for you. As you can see, it came with complete awesome packing right here. So check that off. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and take this out right here. So it comes with spare wheels, which is pretty cool. You have a retrieval hook, a charger, and extra brushes, which you always need right there. So really awesome that they gave you extra stuff. So let's go ahead and pull this out. The weight I would say is about, I'll say about 15 pounds, maybe 20. Extremely light. And like I said, you can use your pull hook to hook that hook it up right here and just pull it right out of the pool whenever it's done cleaning. So let's go ahead and jump right in and uh, show you guys a little bit of what it looks like on the inside and how it works. So with this robotic pool cleaner right here, it has actually pretty solid wheels on it. And whenever you move it around, you can just feel how more durable it is. So you guys how to uh, break this down and tear it apart. So this right here, there's a clamp on the front side. You want to open that because it says open. This is whenever you want to clean this out whenever you're done using it. And then on the back side also has an opening also. And then it also has like these two clamps right here, which all you want to do is you want to pull it out and you want to lift it up just like that on both sides at the same time. So whenever you do that right there, you can just lift this straight off. So you want to make sure that's off right there. And you lift it up just like this. And then as you can see, it has a lot of space to pick up a lot of debris in your pool. Like I said, really easy uh, to pop in these brushes right here. You just stick them in there, just two little slots, press it down, you hear a click, and you do the same on the other side. And like I said, it com comes with two extra wheels right here. So you have two extra wheels that comes with this. So so happens if you lose one or one pops out, you always have an extra one to use. And like I said, really easy to put together too. Sets so in just like that, pops in, clap one side, roll it around, Clamp the other side and you're ready to go. So let's jump right in and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how it works inside the pool. And as you can see, this vacuum is gliding through this pool and this pool is not flat by any means. It is a kind of like an oval shaped pool and uh, this vacuum is still working phenomenal inside the pool. Aper made an awesome product, and I do uh, highly recommend this to you guys. And after pulling it out, after five minutes of running, it had a lot of debris on the inside of that. And as you can see, Aper made an awesome product, and I do highly recommend this to you guys if you have a pool. And my name is Demetrius, and thank you guys for watching this video. Yes, thank you, Demetrius, for making this video for us. That was the Apier Seagull SE Pool Cleaning Robotic Vacuum. And this is available today for $299.99, so $300. But it is on deal stream, so let me click through here and see. Ah, there it is. There it is. When you click through the carousel today, you can save $100 on the Apier Seagull, all right? So if you're looking for a robotic pool cleaner, make sure you check out Apier. Consider Apier, okay? And heads up on that phenomenal deal, a $100 clickable coupon. Now let's take a look at the next thing in my carousel here that we've got to share. This is going to be the, all right, this is going to be the, um, the Apier cordless handheld vacuum. So let's watch this video together as well. Now, we may jump ahead a little bit in the video, but uh, let's just keep it going for now. What's up, everyone? My name is Demetrius, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome handheld vacuum made by Aper right here. So right here is the main piece, which has like the motor in it, everything right here. It starts from here to down. Uh, it comes separate like with a handle, so you can take this handle off 
whatever you need to, just like that. And to put that on, you have two holes on both sides right here. And you just slide it in just like that, to put that together. You wanna make sure that clicks in there so you have a handle. So this handheld vacuum, uh, it's a really easy vacuum. So whenever you're inside the pool and you know you you want to easy something something easy to vacuum something up inside the pool like leaves, debris, and like uh, a lot of the dirt even. Um, so with this one, it's a really easy setup. And on this next part right here, you have the option to use either or. So you have you have this one to just to use to suck up in there. And you also have the vacuum part right there whenever you're at the bottom of the pool and you want to roll across just like that. So it's really easy to uh, put together um, to clip right in. So like I said, uh, really easy, really, really, really easy to put together. And on here, you have the, you can't really see it, but it says open and the one says close. So whenever you put this at the bottom, you want to make sure that this right here is leaning this way whenever you uh, close it. If it's leaning the opposite way, you're not really gonna get much uh, vacuum done right there. So you wanna make sure you put it in a certain way and you wanna close it. See how like this is right here? This is the front, but I have it on backwards. So it's gonna be awkward to, you know, to vacuum. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure you turn this around in the right direction. Have you put it right there. And you want to turn All right, let's see the demo. And, and you want to make sure that it clicks or attach. And then I'm going to take that attachment off and I'm going to just suction the water. Like I said, you can have this above water and you can also have this below. As you can see right here, I'm, I'm suctioning this leaf right here that's inside the pool. And it's suctioning up really good. Uh, the pool was clean, but there was a couple leaves in there. So I went ahead and sucked some of those up in there. And like I said, really easy. And as you guys saw, uh, what an awesome vacuum. Uh, it's really a cool vacuum to be using inside of a pool. I never thought that they would make a vacuum for a pool. Uh, but like I said, awesome vacuum made by Aper. And my name is Demetrius, and thank you guys for watching this video. Oh, thank you so much, Demetrius, for telling us about the Apeer handheld pool vacuum. All right. It is available today at 20% off of its retail value, which is $170. Available today, $136. All right. Now let's talk about the Shark Geek portable charging station. I like this thing because Shark Geek just like went out of their way with the aesthetic to give it you that like uh clear body and i think that's super nice let's take a let's have dragon blogger james uh give us a closer look at this product now Twenty-five thousand six hundred milliamp power bank this little power bank is actually quite cool it comes in this nice little black box and we are going to pop out and show you guys some cool stuff in here now this is good for a lot of stuff including USB-C style cable charging cables or USB charging cables. It is also good for your MacBooks, your Pros, your Dells, and all of the other items. Now, cool thing is they give you this little sheet here. This little sheet is for a reason because it has a digital screen and this digital screen actually has a settings mode. Now, hopefully you guys can see the settings mode. You will have to hold down the power button for 30 seconds. It will go into settings and you can adjust your temperature and your settings, your screens, and all of that cool stuff, guys, if you need. Now, they also give you this super long, very cool looking USB-C to USB-C charging cable. This charging cable is good up to 100 watts charging. Then they give you this nice carrying case, guys. So you do have a nice, very thick drawstring carrying case. Now, this is thicker than most drawstring carrying cases I have felt in a while, and they do have their logo right there, the Storm 2 Liquid. This is where it's going to get cool, and you guys are going to love this. Honestly, I was quite surprised by this device because it is see-through acrylic. It is see-through acrylic, guys. There is your front screen and your tops. You'll see your diodes and all of your chips. Now, if you look on the side, you will actually I see. I never all thought of it, but it looks like a batteries. giant vape, eh? So with, all the, with all those uh, 18, uh, right what are they, 1860? On the back side, it 18, shows you your back. It is uh, screwed in and connected. Now, what's the common battery size? Here's where it gets kind of cool. Also, 
you do have two USB ports. One of the USB C ports is for <laughs> out only. This is like a then big vape all those AP six fifty is for out only also. Very, very cute. Then you move over all right, to now, here, this yes, USB as we can C port see the, is uh, in and my out. Show here. Okay, as so we can it, see, it will charge the device or charge out. Then you can move over. Has you has have the DC plug in and out. DC plug guys is in and out. Charging kit as well as the barrel charger. Thank you, James. And it's going to come with a couple other cables and 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 a and a portable little cinch sack so that you can carry it all very nice to you <clears throat> excuse me all right thank you so much dragon blogger james for telling us about the shark geek charger it is available today at 26 percent off of its retail value making it 169 dollars 15 cents today which is down right from its traditional 229 dollar retail value now let's have Dragon Blogger Nikita tell us more about the Fantic Evo 300. It's here to show you a absolute bad beast of a power station. This is the Fantec Evo 300, and this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, before we get into the main unit itself, I'm going to bring you down here to show you the cool little box that Fantec comes with that has everything you need. Basically, this is how you're going to go ahead and charge your device. It comes with um, adapters that you can use it to plug it into your car and stuff too, and all, as well as a USB-C to USB-C, um, because there are many ways to power this device. Now, if you look right here, what I think is really cool about the actual device itself is that it labels things in and out. So that's how you know you can charge it. So since this one right here is an in and out also, um, that you can charge it, charge the actual station from there too, which you could also get a charge from it also, just depending on how you have it hooked up. Now, if you look right Yeah, Nikita's got a great, great uh, sense of presentation, but we're going to push through the Fantic uh, power station a bit longer, a bit quicker. So we love the giant display. We love that the Fantic has an emergency light on the back. We love that it has the quick charge system and the dual AC plugs, as well as the DC connections, including the barrel connections and the ability to have it plugged in uh, uh, a power accessory port. Now, the Fantic Evo 300 is going to use a dual charging system to charge its lithium ion battery from 0% to 100% in about two and a half hours and uh, also shows you the amount of time on the display uh, that you have left from your power draw as well as the amount of time left from your power that you're feeding through it. You can pass through power through the Fantic Evo 300 and uh, these are on a big sale right now. They are 50% off making them less than two hundred dollars uh you know 199 dollars okay 47 cents but sub 200 on the fantic evo 300 today and uh i forget do these have a uh an, an additional coupon uh yeah they also have an additional ten dollar coupon so not only is it 50 percent off but you can also get it for an additional ten dollars off today and that's just fantastic you know, if you're not, if you don't need a quick charge time and two and a half hours, two and a half hours is the quick charge time with the Evo uh, 300 by Fantic. But like I said, I love that display. It looks so nice. Uh, it does look really, really cool. And the battery is a little bit larger capacity than some of the, um, this is 50% off of its $400 retail value, right? But this has then obviously a little more capacity than some of the similar products that are not this brand name, okay? Lady Bacon, good job. Good job. What up? Show not over. Hey, yeah, no, it's six. It's only 618. You're, we're only halfway through, uh, but I'm not halfway through my carousel. I've been talking about some other crazy stuff today, and uh, so we got to motor it a little bit, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, four ways to recharge. You can plug it in the wall. Wall outlet plus USB-C will charge in two and a half hours. The solar input will charge in three and a half hours. Uh, the wall outlet itself will charge at 90 watts in four hours. And plugging it into your car's power auxiliary port will get that to charge up in approximately four hours. Uh, much clown love to you, Lady Bacon. I hope that you're feeling okay today. 
Um, we're just talking products out here and I'm out in the camper. And yes, this is the camper that um, that is mine. Okay. <laughs> it's my camper. That's what I'm saying. This is the camper that I'm going to be taking to the gathering of the juggalos in just like less than 40 days, less than 40 days, because July 5th is the day that the show starts. And I'm showing up like five days before that. And I think I did a, a search last night. I think July 5th from yesterday was like 42 days away, right? So just a little over a month before I'm going to leave. It's going to be crazy. All right. The Fantic Evo 300 has lithium ion batteries that take a little while longer to charge than some other competitors who are like to an hour to charge from 0% uh, when plugged into the wall only. All right, let's move on to our next product here. This is going to be a smart fan, I believe. And uh, let's grab these videos and show you it now. Yes, this is the tower fan for the bedroom. Let's watch this. Dragon Blogger here to show you the Govi Life 36 inch smart tower fan. This thing is perfect for whatever room you may want to put it in. It's an oscillating fan with temperature auto reflect and has eight speeds, four modes, a 24 hour timer, and it works absolutely amazing not only with the app, but with Alexa and Google Home. Now, this is some of the pieces that come with it. This is the two parts for the base that you will have to assemble together, and it's super easy to do. This is the user manual. And this is the quick start guide on how to assemble that base that I was telling you about. Like I said, it's super easy. All you have to do is clip the two parts together and then unscrew the bottom and screw it on and feed the wire through. Now, it wouldn't be a Govi product without the amazing Govi app. And so I'm going to show you guys how to go through the process of setting this up. It's super easy. All you have to do is open the, the app, click the proper appliance, go ahead and set it up. And then it's just super easy from there. All you have to do is just follow the instructions on screen and you will get your Govi product set up and ready to go almost immediately. The delay is absolutely non-existent and again all as long as you follow the instructions you're good to go and then once you're in the app it's basically again pretty straightforward on how to use it you have the panel on the actual fan itself that will reflect the settings that you are using on the actual app itself you have the options to set a schedule for it to oscillate set the timer and anything that you can do on the actual physical machine you can also do on the app so as you can see the buttons here they're going to reflect the settings that you're on you have the m the little clock the fan speed the power button and the little turn that's for the oscillation and as you can see the settings are kind of changing here that's because i'm using it in the app to set it to what i want it to what i really like how about this display is that it's super easy to tell on the far left you can see the different modes that you are in just depending on what you want there is a nature i was just saying i was just saying sorry about that muted microphone i was just saying that um i love these smaller thinner fans for bedrooms that uh you know they're excellent at helping save a lot of space but i also love a huge box fan and i love to put the big box fan right in the back window of my house and turn it on high and suck the air out of the house and then open a window on the other side of the house and it just rushes all the air uh, out. It's it's so great at bringing outside air in that way, as opposed to just putting the fan directly on you. Forget it. That's not the way to do it. What's up, Jennifer Lude? Welcome to the show. I hope that you're doing very well today. Thank you for joining me here on Clown Live. We were just having our friend, Dragon Blogger Nikita, tell us a little bit more about the Govi Life 36-inch Smart Touch bedroom fan okay now this fan is regularly ninety dollars but today it's on deal for a 15 percent um saving okay 15 percent off of that ninety dollars 76 dollars 49 cents when you add this to your cart today now let's add uh let's move on to the next product here we're going to talk about the govi rgbic neon rope lights this is going to be 16 and a half feet of neon rope light let's watch this video together now Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you guys something really awesome. This is the Govi Neon Rope Lights. These are RGBIC lights. 
that are 16.4 feet long LED strips that I have customized under my little gaming desk here. I absolutely love how this app is set up. This is the Govi Home app, which you're going to need to use the app to its fullest extent. You can use it just straight out the box. It does have some really cool customizable features, but you get the full utility from the actual app itself. Uh, you know, you're able to choose so many different lighting options, which I'm going to cycle through a couple here and tell you. There is a control panel that I have installed under my desk next to the lights, which you can't see, but it's just there. So in case I don't have the app, I can just pull up some custom settings. But here you can see that there are so many different menu options that you can choose from of just preset lights. Not only that, but the list goes on and on. So here's just one set of lists. Here's another set of different you know, light settings that you can choose from and, and they go on and on. There's even a DIY function that you can set up and customize on your own. And there's other color and music settings. The music setting is my favorite because it will strobe to the beat of whatever music is going on around with the ambient sound, which I think is really cool. So if you are looking for a really awesome comprehensive set of RGBIC lights that you can use to decorate your room to make it look absolutely fantastic and pop in a way that that no other room will pop, then Govi has definitely got you covered with their Govi neon rope lights. These things are just beautiful and fantastic. I am using a software button for mute, so thank you, Lady Bacon. I was saying to you the price of the Govi Neon Lights, though, as well as thanking Dragon Blogger Nikita for giving us a fantastic review of them. Uh, yeah, so the price for the lights then today is marked down 15% from its $100 retail value, available today for $85. Thank you for letting me know that I was muted. Now, let's take a look at the next product in our carousel here, and this is going to be the Hodo Electric Screwdriver. All right, let's just jump immediately into this video. Kato with Dragon Bloggers here to show you this really amazing Hoto all-in-one designed electric screwdriver. This thing is fantastic. I love how it has the nice little telescoping grabber at the top. It makes it easier for transport. It comes with a USB-C cable with... Uh, which is what you use to charge it. Um, what's also really cool is that the case itself can lock. So right now it's locked. So no matter how hard I try to pull this, it won't come off. I simply just turn it to the unlock phase and then it slides right off. Now it comes with the actual electric screwdriver itself. It has a little cap up here that blocks the top where you can put the head in. You just simply, it grips pretty well, but you simply just pull it off. Um, and then of course, right here, as you can see at the top, it's on the off and then it has different torque settings that you can use it on. And when you use it, you know, you can go uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, just depending on whether you want to screw something in or take something out. And it also comes with this really nice ring light so that you can see whatever you're screwing here at the bottom is where you charge it. But um, what's also cool is the little stand where it comes is where all the different types of heads are that you can use for different purposes and whichever one you want you just simply pull it out go ahead and pop it into place and then you're good to go there's a magnetic connection that forms and so you're good to just start screwing and then you know set it to whatever torque setting you want or simply just turn it off to save on battery and i just think it's absolutely fantastic as an all-in-one this is one of the most uniquely designed screwdrivers that i've ever gotten to use and it just it is fantastic for all of your screw driving needs so if you're looking for a really comprehensive all-in-one set to use, definitely check out this Hoto electric screwdriver. It's an all-in-one set that's super easy to carry, transport, and use for all of your screwing needs. If you need to screw, then take the advice of Dragon Blogger Nikita and consider the Hoto electric screwdriver today. Uh, why? Because it's on deal 40% off of its average retail value. Traditionally, $60 when you add this to your cart. Now, today, with that 40% discount, you can add this electric screwdriver by Hodo to your cart for $36. All 
All right, now let's talk about the Apex Forge M0 rotary tool. We got a couple of videos that uh, want to play and kind of catch up on. I feel we got like a half an hour of the show. 31%. How's this phone burn through? Listen, I've been live on this iPhone 7 for two hours, an hour and a half. And when I started it, it was... It was like not 89%. Now it's at 31%. So I may consider excusing myself and running into the house and getting a cable to keep this battery going. But we don't have to do that if we push through our products. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the Apex Forge Rotary Tool Accessory Kit. And uh, yeah, we watched this video yesterday. We're going to make a few time jumps through it, but let's watch it together now. And we got a list of all the components back here, 80 cutoff wheels and a bunch of sanding bands, as well as a few unique pieces, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what we're dealing with. Now, as you can see, the box did a pretty good job of holding everything together in shipping. A few pieces fell out of their holders, not the big of a deal. Here we have one of our grinding stones. And let's go ahead and spin this around so I can get a better grip on a few things. All right, let's get this plastic cover off and put these back where they belong. Okay, the Apex Forge M0 Rotary Toolkit comes with a bunch of different bits. Everything that you're going to require in order to accomplish the job that you want for what these types of bits are designed to do. Uh, you get a whole plethora of them, okay? The entire kit is available today for $27.57, okay? The $27.57 price point is actually 48% off, okay? That's the deal today of its $53 retail value. Uh, consider Apex Forge when you need a rotary kit. Now, let's talk about these Krupow solar deck lights, okay? We are just going to leave this screen shared and grab our Krupow light video. And let's watch this one together now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That outside in the dark, that's going to illuminate 100%. Oh, yeah. That's going to look cool. That's blue. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's really nice. That's going to add a really nice effect to your um, to your driveway or your handrails, whatever. There you go. That is Dragon Blogger Nate with the uh, Creepow Blue Rectangular Solar Deck Lights. What I like the most about that review from Dragon Blogger Nate is that he just goes, it's blue. That was very, very fun. Okay, the Creepow Solar Deck Lights uh, come in, I believe, an 8-pack and are traditionally $65. But with that 35% off deal that is on them today, you can... Add this to your cart for $42.24. Lady Bacon says, if y'all ever win a Disney trip, just keep me in mind. I never enter those. I never enter those. I always feel like if I want a trip, I couldn't afford to go on the trip. You know what I mean? Just getting there is enough of money to get there, but then to enjoy it seems like a lot as well. So I generally shy away from entering trip giveaways. <clears throat> All right. Now, another deal that is happening today on the internet, okay, is for the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K Projector. Traditionally, $2,000. The 4K projector is marked 15% off today, making it 1700 buckaroos. All right. Let's watch this video from Nate about it. What's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at easily my favorite projector. This is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. This is a true native 4K projector with Android 10.0 built in. And honestly, I just can't talk about how good this is. And I mean, we all know we're not supposed to stare at the sun, but at what point do we start making an exception for Anchor products? Because this is just one of the most beautiful pieces of technology I've ever owned. 
I mean, honestly, at what point do we just start telling Anchor that they need to chill out and just relax and stop making the world's best products? And like I said before, a true Android 10.0 TV with native 4K, a ton of built-in apps, voice assistant, HDR 10, autofocus, auto keystone correction, a remote. Yo, the phone went from 31 to 26% already. I have to run into the house and I have got to get the charging cable for the iPhone. So let's enjoy Nate's review of the Nebula Cosmos laser 4K projector and I shall return. Okay, give me just a moment here to run inside. Remote that's super simple to use, an operating system that's super even simpler to use. I mean, come on, really? But I can talk about specs all day and you guys would not care. So let's just go ahead and jump into the review of this. Let's take a look at how good this looks because like I said before, this looks better than my TV. All right, so like I said before, Android 10.0, so you're never going to have a shortage of apps. You're going to be able to watch all your favorite TV shows, sports, movies with the 7,000 plus apps that are built into Android TV OS. And a pro tip, download Steam Link if you have a gaming computer because you're going to be able to play games at true 4K with this over Steam Link. So just kind of going through the menu, you guys can see that everything is super responsive. There is absolutely zero lag whenever you're going through this. Now, my TV itself is a Sony TV, and it also has Android 10.0 built into it. And its processor isn't as fast as the processor built into the Nebula 4K. And honestly, let's just be real here. If I didn't tell you guys that this was a projector, you guys would probably assume this is a TV because sometimes I honestly forget it is a projector because it looks so dang good. Now, of course, you're going to have your standard Android TV OS settings, but there's a built-in settings menu in the projector that's going to give you even more control. So here's those built-in settings. This is on the projector itself. You're going to have your settings button, which I'll show you that menu here in a second. You're also going to have your selector wheel in case you lose your remote. Let me go ahead and hit that settings button one more time and I'll show you the settings that it pulls up. So here's that settings menu I was telling you guys about. Now inside of the Nebula settings, not the Android TV OS settings, you're gonna have picture settings right here we can go through. There's a ton of different presets. There's HDR that you can enable. If you go down to audio, you can choose all the different type of audio presets. There's DRC, image correction. You're gonna have one click focus and keystone correction. You're gonna have auto keystone correction at startup, manual keystone correction, Auto screen fit, which is a phenomenal feature I have not seen inside of another projector. You're going to have autofocus, manual focus correction, screen zoom. Up at the top, right up here where my finger is pointing right now, you're also going to have your HDMI selector. You have Bluetooth speaker mode. You have some advanced settings down here. I mean, honestly, everything about this projector is just premium and just makes sense and just works so dang well. Like I said, I could talk about this for hours and hours, but just take a look at how amazing that looks right there. Oh yeah, and not only does this look incredible, the sound system built into the Cosmos 4K is just out of this world. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up and let you guys listen. And also at 2100 ANSI lumens, this is going to look great even in the daytime. And at night, look how much it lights up my living room. You guys can see everything inside of my living room. Don't make fun of it. It's dirty, I know. I mean, look at this. Even ads look incredible. And on top of this, your favorite game, such as Horizon Zero Dawn right here, it just looks so good on a huge screen at true 4K. It just doesn't get better. All right, thank you so much, Nate, for telling us about the Cosmos 4K laser projector by Anchor Nebula. What a beautiful looking unit aesthetically. The performance of the projector looks absolutely stunning. Uh, now, uh, I accidentally hit that next product in my carousel, but here we are back on the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K Projector. Like I said a few minutes ago, this is normally coming at you for $2,000. Today, it is available for 15% off, making it $1,700. All right, now let's take a look at the next product in my carousel, which is the Life Pro LED face mask. And uh, let's click through this link and watch this video together uh, right now. This is the Life Pro LED Light Therapy Face Mask. It's super lightweight, being that it only weighs 2.8 ounces and it fits the entire face. It's 8.3 inches long, 6.5 inches wide, and 4.9 inches tall. 
Light therapy helps to improve blood flow and collagen production. It helps to calm and tighten the skin, improve pigmentation, reduce fine lines, and create a more smooth appearance as it helps to improve tissue metabolism. What's great is that this LED mask incorporates light irradiation technology and it is safe to use and you can use it daily. With 15 to 20 minutes of use every day, you can start to see results in as little as two to three weeks. It helps to improve the skin's appearance and it is comfortable to wear and reusable. It works great in conjunction with other skincare products to help improve its effectiveness. It has three different LED colors. The blue helps to penetrate pores for a smooth skin. The amber color helps to soften irritated skin. And the red helps to reduce lines and wrinkles. Overall, I really like the design of this mask. Even the nose area is really well done where it doesn't feel heavy on the face. And it feels as light as a pair of glasses. As well as where the eyes are, there are no lights or obstructing design. So you can continue to relax, watch TV, or work on projects while you are wearing this mask. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Astroidia, for telling us about the Life Pro LED face mask. Uh, this face mask is 50% off today, available to you for $28. And 50% of $28 is what? It's $56, okay? So really, really get that 50% saving. Now, been a little over a year since a haircut. I was just telling Mima that my mop has not had a cut since the summer of... 2020 june 2020 excuse me so june 2023 marks three years no haircut no beard trim actually might be getting some beard products in the mail that i'm interested in checking out a beard straightener which i think look look at my beard right it is like you know pubic hair it's not like my straight hair it's it's more coarse and it's more like uh curly like it is kind of straight but it is curly as well and uh, i want to get the hair straightener and straighten it out so i'm pretty excited to to uh investigate that to see if i can really get some length out of my i just pulled a beard hair out of my beard so i'm gonna stop tugging on it now before i go bald like a chicken all right the face mask is 28 dollars. now let's talk about the flybird ab workout bench this thing looks crazy when he started pulling his knees up to his chest it was driving me uh, bonkers because I had no idea what was going on. Me too. I trimmed my own last year around the time my sister uh, passed away. She was my hairdresser, so I just haven't done it since. I can understand that. I can understand that. All right, but uh, keeping in line with the show, let's just politely transition to our next product. By Flybird. This right here is a solid piece and is really easy to set up. It's extremely lightweight to move. You can just pick it up and put it on your shoulder. So there's a couple of things that came with it. And that's really, like I said, easy to install. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, of course, five. And then you have this piece right here to adjust the height of that right there. So you just pull that out to adjust the height for this one. Comes with also a, a screen of time count of how many you do when you touch the top and then you have the calories and the stride per minute no i didn't watch david use this but we look at uh look at look at this here's the use of it here and i just think this would blow me up bro talk about pulling knees up yeah look at this boom boom Arr. Arr. yeah you know what though about this thing is you know what actually does seem cool about this is that like ask me to lay on the ground bro you know what i'm saying ask me look at me right here look at me now and then ask me to lay on the ground okay and then if i even do that then ask me to drag my head to my knee you know what i'm saying <laughs> come on but with the Flybird bench, with the Flybird bench, the video's over. With the Flybird bench, you can uh, mount it and then put your knees 
to your chest like this, like we just watched. Very, very cool. Um, the Flybird ab workout equipment, this bench is usually $200. Today, it's 45% off of that price. And you can add this to your cart today for $100. $10. Now let's take a look at the next product in my carousel here. This is going to be the IPL laser hair removal device. This is the you like IPL hair remover handset. And it's so awesome because it helps to remove hair, making it easier between shaving and just trying to keep smooth skin. It adopts a clinical grade sapphire ice touch technology, so it actually lowers the temperature from 158 Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the point of contact with the skin, which is pain free. I just love it. It helps make the skin feel more smooth and reduces thick hair in the areas that it is applied. And after the first four weeks of treatment, it's recommended to continue with bi-weekly touch-ups to keep it looking its best all year round. It is recommended by dermatologists and FDA cleared. It's perfect for full body use. It allows you to select intensity. So depending on where you're applying it, you can choose different intensities for the face, bikini area, armpits, arms, legs, and so forth. It comes in a leather box and comes with its own razor because the first step is to shave. Then you hold on to the on and off button to turn on the device. Put on your goggles and get ready to apply and voila in a flash. It will help reduce hair and make it so much easier and smoother. Overall, I love the color of this device, but also its functionality is amazing. It has a light transmission rate of 99.99%, which enhances the hair remover effect and prevents skin burns at the same time, making it painless and something you can easily do at home. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. A great IPL laser hair removal tool that is uh, branded you like the you like laser hair removal tool. The IPL laser hair removal tool again is three hundred and fifty nine dollars normally, but not today. We got the deals happening, right? So the deal today is actually twenty nine percent off, making it two hundred fifty um, fifty four dollars. OK, two fifty four when you add the you like laser IPL hair removal tool to your cart today. Okay, let's move on to a uh, little fashion section of the show now. We got some shoes and some other things that I think we're going to take a look at. Pretty much just some nice shoes and sandals. So, let's get uh let's get it moving, okay? <laughs> and uh let's watch these videos now about some Bruno Mark men's mesh lightweight sneakers. Okay, this video is a quick video, so let me full Most comfortable everyday oh. casual shoes that I have ever worn. These are made by Bruno Mark. Just taking a look at the awesome design on this, you can see that you have the knit pattern wrapping all the way around, kind of a wood color. You have a little texture on the bottom. It has this really super stretchy material, so these are going to conform to your feet. I have a high arc, and these support that greatly. But one of the things that I wanted to show you is how lightweight these are. If I go ahead and just tear this out real quick and just hit the tear button, you guys are going to see that these are only going to come in at 8.8 .8 ounces. So if you're looking for some very comfortable, lightweight shoes, Bruno Mark has got you covered. I have also tested from them in the past some of their dress shoes. So they make really nice dress shoes as well. Uh, these are going to be great for just everyday outings going on walks. I think they're uh, nice enough to where if you wanted to wear them to a more formal environment, then you are definitely going to be able to do that. Bruno Mark has got you covered regardless of what shoe you want, but specifically these, I highly recommend them. All right. Thank you, Dragon Blogger Nate, for letting us know about the Mark, uh, excuse me, the Bruno Mark lightweight mesh sneakers. 88 ounces is actually a really light shoe. Uh, all right. Now, Joanna, you commented five minutes ago. I think you're still out there watching. So uh, Dragon Blogger Justin reached out to me uh, and he, I said, I said to him, I want to know if someone clicks through and doesn't buy the product, but buys a similar 
say smaller version of it, the, do we get the conversion? The product is on the same page as the one we are talking about. Dragon Blogger Justin said, yes, we should get, we should, the cookie should give us credit if the product is in the same category. And uh, yeah, it is the same category, isn't it? So if you end up purchasing an, an over-the-sink countertop uh, for your kitchen that doesn't have a window, you said, let me know. Let me know. And uh, let me know what version you buy. You can add, I think, the Amazon link to the chat or the uh, ASIN or share it to me privately. But I'm really interested to know if you get one. <clears throat> okay, now let's take a look at the next thing, though, here in our carousel. Uh, but before we do that, I want you to know if I didn't say it already because I forget if I did. The Bruno Marx Men Mesh Sneakers, these, these, uh, these shoes, these lightweight shoes, Oxfords. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bruno Mark Men's Mesh Sneaker Oxfords. These Oxford lightweights, $41.49 today. This is 25% off of that retail value, which is known as 56 bucks. Okay, let's take a look at these Dream Pairs women's open toe ankle strap shoes. Hi, Hopper. They're super sturdy. Hi, Hopper. They're super sturdy. They're very comfy to walk in. I feel like I could walk in these all day. They're easy to walk in because they're not very tall. These are a really good professional heel. Very, very classy. An extremely simple review for the Dream Pairs women's open toe ankle strap shoes. Um, I am not a woman, and I would just like to say that heels are crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how women can do heels. I, I, my ankles, I would roll them. I would roll my ankles so much, I feel, if I had to wear heels. So to the women that enjoy heels genuinely, I don't know how you do it. No windows? Yeah, I hope that you uh, send me a picture of the one or a link to the one that you're thinking of uh, of getting because I want to see it. I'll show it on the show if you – I'll show it on the show today if you want, if you're interested in that type of engagement. But you don't have to feel obligated to do that. All right. Now, though, the uh, the uh, the women's shoes are $31.99 today. Looks like I'm forgetting to say the price of these shoes. Traditionally $45. Get them today for $32.00. That's a 29% saving. Now let's take a look at the next pair of Dream Pair shoes. These are going to be a plain toe Oxford shoe. Uh, in let's take a look again at this video together. In entertainment today, I'm going to show you guys some very, very, very comfortable and stylish dress shoes. These are made by Bruno Mark, and these are the Prince. So I wanted to just jump in and tell you guys my initial thoughts and opinions about these from somebody that doesn't wear dress shoes often. And the reason I don't wear dress shoes often is I don't go to a lot of settings or public places where dress attire is essential. Uh, but every once in a while, I do need some dress shoes. And if you've ever done some research into them, you don't really know what's going on with dress shoes. You don't know what's going to be a good um, fit. You don't know what's going to look good. And like I said, coming from someone that doesn't wear dress shoes often, these are insanely comfortable for when I do need them. Now, I've tried them on, but I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the design before we talk about the comfort. First of all, you guys can see that we have the leather all the way around it. The stitching is really nice with that beige color. On the bottom, you've kind of got almost like that cowboy boot print on the bottom. I wear size 10 and a half. These fit really well. And I also have a naturally high arch on my feet. And these don't have any issues supporting that high arch. You guys can see the way it swoops down here. I really like the um, bottom sole. Kind of alleviates the pressure. Yeah. They are nice brown shoes. Nate's probably not even going to try them on. Thank you so much, Nate, though, for talking to us about the Bruno Mark Plain toe oxford shoe we'll just jump back to this quick shot here look at the heel actually looks pretty nice the heel looks pretty nice actually 
All right. Now, thank you again, though, Dragon Blogger Nate, for that review. Let's take a look at our next product. But before we do, uh, the Dream Peer, the Dream Pairs shoes that we're talking about now, these men's Oxford shoes are $35 today. And this is going to be 35% off of its $40 average retail value. Okay, now let's move on to the Wee Wee Yes sandals for women. And these are going to be $21.24, which is 47% off of its $40 retail value. So let's get into these Wee Wee Wa Double Buckle Cloud Sandals. Double buckle adjustable sandals. That's right, sandals. These are called the Eva Flat Sandals. Does come in multiple colors and multiple sizes. Of course, we got blue in a size 12 and a half or 13, uh, technically, but very cool. Now, these are supposed to be very soft, very, very slippery, and very adjustable. But watch this, guys. You can bend them completely, and they will bounce back. You can do it the other way, and it'll bounce back. You do have the adjustable uh, pieces right here. It does have a whole bunch of little holes, and you can adjust the buckles as you want. It has a non-slip sole uh, for you guys with that. Now, with that being said, the thickness of this is about one and a half inches thick of padding and adjustable padding there, which should make it nice and soft. But, of course, how does it fit and how does it feel? Well, we're going to switch views. We're going to show you guys these on my feet. I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay, guys, I had the adjustable buckle sandals on. Of course, you guys see I have socks on. That's just what's happened. I had other shoes on. But they are very, very soft, guys. These are actually bounce around them. You don't feel like you're wearing shoes. You feel like you're wearing clouds or something like that. These are actually really, really soft. Now, I'm going to say wearing these socks is not a great decision because my feet are slipping because of the socks. Uh, so if you guys wear socks, you might want to tighten this up slightly with the actual buckles. But, guys... Very nice set of slippers. Of course, it does have your toe prints right here, so you can actually fit in there a little better. Adjustable, very easy, very nice set of sandals. If you guys need a set of sandals, maybe these buckle styles are the ones for you. Thank you so much, Dragon Blogger James, for that great review of the Wiwiwa Cloud Double Buckle Sandals. Okay, I wonder what other colors they come in. Looks like at least blue and red. Yeah, June, what's up, man? You staying quiet in the chat today, homie. Ooh, I've been sitting in one spot for a long time. Ugh. All right. Uh, we are, though, getting ready to finish up today's show. And uh, before we do, let's take a look at one more product. And uh, before we take a look at our final product, I just want to remind you one more time uh, about the Wiwiwa sandals, um, okay? These cloud double buckle sandals are available today for $21.24, and this is going to be 47%, excuse me, off of their $40 retail value. Now, let's take a look at, oh, hold on, recovery slide, Bedshire XL Elevate, what? Oh, we only had one product left. My mistake, my mistake, we can keep it going. Uh, we're going to talk about the Nordiv recovery slide, but let me take a look at my product page here. Where are we at now? Where are we at? Dream pairs, open toe, ankle strap. Bruno Mark, men, plain toe, Oxford shoe. Wee Wee Wa, Nordiv 8. Okay, we're looking at this. And then Bedshire XL, yes. Uh, okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's my brain. My brain is the problem, okay? I just was looking at some things, and it looked like we had a few more things on our list than I had expected. All right, let's jump back into our show here now and still get ready to take a look at the last few products that we have in our carousel. And one of those is going to be another pair of shoes. This is going to be the Nordiv 8 Recovery Slides, okay? Uh, these slides will be featuring some arch support. So let's take a deeper look at it now. Is this the right video? I'm so confused right now. It is the right video. Here we go. Video today talking about some more Nordiv 8 shoes. Now I have tested a couple of Nordiv 8 hiking shoes in the past and they were really great. Now the design on these, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys right off of the rip, I'm not a big fan, but they are extremely comfortable. Now I, this is coming from someone who likes to wear Crocs, but you can see that right here, we have these really interestingly designed kind of outdoor 
boat all weather really whatever kind of shoes you want to wear you can see that you can kind of take out this super thick insole this is reason or this is a part of the reason why these are so comfortable they have a very interesting design i've never seen shoes that look quite like this now this is coming from someone that wears loafers and crocs and just very slip-on casual easy shoes now these are going to be great for summertime maybe you're you know around the pool out at the lake or something along those lines we'll go ahead and take these out now i wear a size 10 and a half these fit perfectly fine let me go ahead and get this box out of the way real quick so I can show you guys these a little bit better. You can see that you kind of have this like terrain texture across the edge. These are all rubber. Even the soles on the bottom are completely rubber. If you guys like shoes that just have a very interesting design or at least very comfortable, these might be great for you. You can see that you kind of have some of that Nord of 8 branding over here on the side, that little logo swoosh that they do. And just taking an overall look at these, you can see that they're very interesting. I mean, these aren't necessarily the type of shoes that I would ever really wear. They just look very strange in my opinion. But if you don't really mind, what your shoes look like and this is again coming from someone that wears minecraft crocs then maybe these would be great for you overall i would probably give these in my opinion around a six out of ten just because the design is a little off-putting for me but they are extremely comfortable so if you guys want some comfortable in my opinion kind of ugly shoes these might be it for you man i wonder if nate likes the way that those shoes look uh, if he does like the way that he looks, he can buy a pair today for $28. And you know what? This is like doesn't even have a deal on it. What a strange object in our carousel today. No deals, no coupons when we click through. But still, yeah, a very unique design. I wouldn't say that I dislike the design. It looks whatever like to me. But uh, black and uh, what other colors do they got? They got a black, light gray. Kind of looks like a camo thing. They got, yeah, they just got like smudge designs where they just push, push a bunch of different color material. They got the tan. They got the ivory. And they got the pink. Okay, they don't have like a blue or a red or anything. All right, very cool. Uh, $28 today for the Nord of 8 recovery slides. Now, let's take a look at this next product in my carousel, okay? This is going to be the BedSure Large Elevated Cooling Outdoor Dog Bed. My name is Demetrius, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome outside dog bed. Really easy to set up. It has a couple of rails to put together, but no, not a big issue. Like I said, it has insulation steps on how to put it together. Really simple. Then it comes with these bolts to attach those poles together. Really easy. And then you just slide the pole to the sides, and then there you have it. This is a outside bed for an XL dog. This comes in many sizes. It comes in a small, medium, large, and XL for big dogs. This right here is a really easy setup to do. You have a long piece. This piece right here will shoot through the, the uh, part right here that's opening up. And then you have some rails that will shoot through right there. And you just tighten it up with a Allen key right here. Comes with an Allen key. And as you guys can see, uh, this is an outside dog bed. And it's really comfortable for dogs to, you know, whenever outside, instead of laying on the flat ground, they have a little arch in their bed to make it comfortable for them to be snug and secured inside their bed. Like I said, really easy setup and a really awesome bed, as you guys can see. And like I said, this one is an XL and is, in my opinion, the best quality bed right here for a dog to sleep on whenever it's outside and as you guys can see he really loves his bed right here and i'm gonna have him jump into bed and show you guys he's a great dane he's about 100, 175 pounds and again this is an awesome bed and as you guys can see he fits perfectly fine on it like i said 175 pounds and he is loving the dog bed as you guys can see 175 pounds works good Again, this bed is an awesome dog bed. And my name is Demetrius, and thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, thank you, Demetrius, for the video about the Bedshire Outdoor Raised Dog Bed. This is the XL size, and it's on deal 15% off from its $53 retail value. Down today, marked down today to $45.04. Welcome, 
Miranda Butler. Thank you so much for hitting that follow button today. If you hear the sound of my voice right now, please feel free to say hello in the chat. Let me know what you're shopping for. If you see something great in my carousel today, let me know. If this is your first time on Amazon Live and I'm your first follow, whoa, okay? That would be really cool to know. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so $45, four cents today on the Bedsure XL. Now we're going to get into our final product of the day in our carousel. And that is going to be the Hilfi, Hilfi, the Hilfi steamer for clothing. So let's get into this video for the steamer right now. Welcome, everyone. My name is Demetrius, and today we are going to be talking about this portable garment steamer. Yes, I said it. It's a portable steamer. You could take this on the road if you have a meeting and you're wearing a suit or a you know a jacket that needs to be steamed whenever you take it out of your car or if you're wearing it in a rush this portable steamer is what you want to have so let's go ahead and jump right in and show you guys it unpacked so this is a steamer right here unpacked you have a couple pieces um, that you will need to set this up uh, really easy setup so then you have the of course the main right here the main part this is the steamer then you have a cup that you can fill with water and you can pour inside there right there and then you have some brushes on here that you can attach to the front of this right here whenever you want to steam something and it also comes with another brush also so with that being said um, it's really easy to use and again if you need instructions you have that manual for you right there so let's go ahead and fill this up and uh, let's see if we can get this shirt steamed up right here see how wrinkly that is we're gonna try that. We're gonna try to steam that up and see how good this actually works. Uh, power buttons right here, on, and you have it off. Let's go ahead and jump right in and pretty much just barely press on it. And as you can see, the wrinkles are coming out smoothly right there. Way faster than iron. And this is, like I said, it's portable. So you can take this to a hotel or have it at work if you need to. And take it in the bathroom, plug it in, and just iron it out just like that. And as you guys can see, I did spill the water on it also. So whenever you're using this steamer, you don't want to lean it over and face down the bristles, face down like you like doing the iron. Thank you so much for telling us about the portable handheld clothes steamer from Hillafy. Uh, this little clothes steamer looked like it was doing a pretty effective job there, I'd say. And uh, it is available today for $24.79. And this is 29% off of its $35 average retail value. What's up, Evans? Did I say what's up already? It is near the end of the day. Yo, look at me today, man. We got to hang out in the camper. I'm hanging out in my camper. This goes back to the bedrooms. These are my closets. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of a mess around here. I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. And then maybe we'll do a tour once it looks a little more tidied up. But the weather was nice today. It was just like low 60s. But still nicer than most of the weather we had all week. So I thought I'd come out to the camper and do a show out in the camper today. We got to show a lot of product videos, so we didn't need to be in the studio, a.k.a. my living room, you know what I'm saying, um, talking all on-hand products today. We got to watch some videos. Thank you for saying that I got a nice place. Appreciate that. We will do a nice little tour of the camper one day, though, uh, when I get it cleaned up. And I'm really looking at trying to get it cleaned up this weekend because, as I was saying, it's only about one month left, um, like a little more than a month, maybe like 38 days-ish or so before I'm leaving for my vacation. And I'm so excited about it, right? I, I keep talking about it. And uh, yeah, so this weekend, I'm excited to try to get the camper opened up. We're going to hitch it onto the truck and we're going to pull it around the block, take it for a little spin and and see, knock all the winter dust and all off of it and see how it handles. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked on that. But uh, hey, you know, I added this product to our carousel today. Let me see here. Let's 
so many products. Okay, so we took the Boosany. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got this shared. Yo, so this was my most popular product today that we took a look at. And I just want to take one more quick look at it again, just in case some people might have joined and, and missed it. So let me share my screen with you all now. We are taking a look currently at the Boosany over sink dish drying rack. Okay, look at this thing. It's made out of what? 304 stainless steel. The whole thing is made out of stainless. It's got a cutting board on it. It's adjustable width, okay? You can adjust it from 25 and a half to 35 and a half inches, basically. And uh, it's got all kinds of hooks. You can adjust the shelves. Look, at, look in between the two shelves at the rack. You see? It's got mounting holes on it. So you can put the racks in whatever position that you want. And that's phenomenal, isn't it? Uh, and it tell and it's and it's designed to not tip, which obviously is great. I can't get the Juggalo song out of my head. What Juggalo song? What Juggalo song are you talking about? What is the name of the song that you're talking about? Let me know. And uh, yeah, so this uh, this boost in the oversink drying rack is pretty sweet. Uh, oh look, we didn't even look at this picture. Uh, high load bearing up to 180 pounds. Look at all the weights. They put in this 180 pounds. Okay. That's awesome. I love this thing uh, because it's so big and so much stainless steel. And if you have the ability to, oh, these are different products. So they do have different products at different price points as well. If you're looking for something like this, that might be a little bit smaller or potentially just a little more budget friendly than uh, I'm just a juggalo, but life goes on without me. I don't know what that song is. No. I put, I'm just a juggalo, but life goes on oh, without me. I'm just getting a lot of, like, Louis Prima songs. Let me know if you figure out the uh, – all right. I don't know. I'm having a hard time figuring out off based off what you said. I ain't got nobody. Is that the name of the track? Also, are we still looking at this thing? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, the Boozany Oversink Dish Drying Rack looks super sweet. This was my most popular product today, so I just wanted to bring it to attention again before we end the show. It's good for up to 180 pounds and adjustable racks. So even if you do put it in your window, you can still make it so that you can at least see out the window between the racks. Oh, okay. Were you making like a funny thing? I get it now. I thought you were quoting some juggalo type of lyrics, but you're just uh, doing I'm just a gigolo, but replacing it with juggalo. I got it. It takes me a minute, but I get things. You know what I'm saying? I get things. All right. Yo, where are we at here? Hey, we're back up to 50% charged on the phone. That's nice. All right, let's say thank you to the people that got to join us today on this episode of Clown Live. I love everybody that takes the time to come out and join us. Thank you, Rover and Sheila B, a.k.a. Stargazer. Um, also, thank you, Seabass, of course, for coming out and checking me out today. Um, you always got your heads up on those, fuck, uh, on those funny streams. <laughs> you always got your heads up on those funny streams. Thank you for watching my funny stream today, um, Seabass. I appreciate you. 
<laughs> Jeez, that was close. All right, Rover, of course, thank you. And Joanna, thank you for coming out. Woolrich the Junior, June, you the man. Thank for, thanks for popping out today. Um, let's see who else was in our chat today. We didn't have too many other. We had Edward. He popped out and said hello today. That was nice. Uh, Amazon customer one came and visited us today as well. Oh, Lady Bacon was in this piece today. Yo, what's up again, Lady Bacon? Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me for the time that you did. Jennifer Lude made an appearance on our show today. And I am kind of looking like I'm running out of unique commenters. Thank you again to Miranda Butler for following us here on Clown Live. We are on a road. Oh, Evans, of course, was here near the end of the show. She might still be in the chat. And, um, yeah, I wanted to say, I wanted to say, uh, Thank you again, Miranda Butler, for following. We are on the road to 3,000 followers right now. Today, we've got to be at around, I'd say, let's take an actual check. We're going to be at 2,866 followers. So for the last month or so, we've been floating around this 60s area. And uh, I'm hoping that through the summertime, we can reach that coveted, currently coveted goal of three thousand followers so if you know some people that don't know about amazon live you know how it goes consider sending them a link to this stream tell them about how it works you know coming out here and getting these great deals a wonderful sense of community and you know we're always trying to build it up a little bigger than what it always is okay let's jump back into our show now Uh, no word on A-lister approval. Well, I'll, I can say this, okay? Uh, I'm confident that I can say this. I heard through the grapevine that some people who have applied for A-lister uh, recently have found out that they have not been approved for that status. So how unfortunate for those anonymous streamers. Okay. And then also as a result of those specific anonymous streamers, I, I don't think we're going to be making uh, a lister here on shopping dragons. You know, we really busted our butts really, really hard um, through uh, the, since October, when I started here, we busted our butts to get our follower count up. And uh, we took it from like last October, we took it the middle of last October, we took it from uh, like just under 1300 followers to what did I say today, we're now at 2866 followers, you know, and I'm the only streamer on the account, like I'm the only uh, streamer on this channel on Clown Live. So yeah, it seems like they've made it so much harder for those to get that approval. They've raised the bar. Um, well, even if they did raise the bar and I don't have any inside information about that. Like I literally don't even have outside information about it, whatever that means. But I do know, and uh, I just want to like not say too much cause I don't know, like, you know, but I can say that like with confidence, uh, everybody has seen the dip right? Everybody's seen the dip in viewership and that has translated heavily into bottom lines, right? So bottom lines are just not, bottom lines, I think are what are a heavy contributing factor to not achieving the A-lister status. So even though we worked really hard and got all of our followers up and we were working really hard and doing what we were doing to create a, a community here after everything went like got really hard in january i don't think it's gonna happen but that's okay we could just keep trying because it's not like you can only try once and then never get an opportunity to try again so i've got to say uh in summation on this particular topic that it seems likely that that will be the case, that we will not achieve A-lister status here on Shopping Dragons. But, um, I mean, at least we get to keep streaming. We get to try again. There, it's not like you get to try once and then not get to try ever again. So that's a really comforting fact. And furthermore, uh, just knowing finally, you know what I'm saying, will be like a kind of a peace of mind. 
because it's not like it's been so long now that I don't think about it daily. But in the creator app, then the creator app, it was just like, hey, when you applied for a list, we're going to like usually we got a turnaround time of about like 10 days, it says in the app. Right. And uh, it's been like, you know, a little bit exaggerating here, but it's been like 10 months. You know what I'm saying? Pretty, pretty close anyway, you know, um, well, maybe not pretty close, but you understand my exaggeration. So I'm not too heartbroken by it uh, because we get to keep making content here on Clown Live anyway. And uh, and that's what I like doing. I like streaming to all you guys. And so if we get to have like an opportunity to expand and reach that A-lister tier, then that will be really humbly appreciated. But uh, that ain't going to stop me from grinding. You know what I'm saying? So uh, as as it goes, as it goes, hey, what's up, Shopping Dragons? What's up, Shopping Dragons? We were just, Shopping Dragons, we were just talking about the concept of our application for A-lister. And we were talking about, um, we were talking about how some anonymous uh, users, some anonymous streamers on the platform recently have not been approved for their A-list status. So we were just kind of having a little conversation about that. And uh, we were talking about how we probably won't achieve that goal here on Shopping Dragons uh, with our initial application, but there's always room to grow. There's always another opportunity to make the application again uh, when things become uh, like more appropriate for Shopping Dragons to facilitate that A-lister tier. Uh, but until then, we're just going to keep it grinding. We're going to keep talking products. I know that Amazon has other plans in the future that uh, might make things change around here, but I don't even know when that is. I'm wildly speculating completely. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's basically it. I think this is the end of today's show. I just want to thank everybody so much for coming out and joining. We already did thank everybody. And uh, don't forget to take an opportunity now as we're saying goodbye to click through our carousel. Take a look. If there's anything that you see there, um, you know, feel free to add it to your cart. And don't forget, this is an important thing, I think, because a lot of people uh, that might want to make purchases through our carousel, maybe they don't have the budget today, and that's okay. Uh, what is important to know on the technical side of things is if you click through our carousel and purchase even a similar type of product, uh, the cookie for that is good for 29 days, I believe. So even if you add something today to your cart and don't buy it, um, helping us generate the commission uh, is still active for up to 29 days after you add, add that to your cart. So just a little technical side there for you to understand how it works here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to jump out of here. Um, I love your son's new dog. When will you be streaming again? Sunday at noon. I hope he streamed. I wish Justin would stream every day. Okay, we're going to say goodbyes here. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Clown Live. Uh, I've been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. And this has been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. We're going to come back after the weekend on Monday at 5 p.m. with an all-new show. We're going to talk about some great products, and I hope you will be able to join me. Okay, much clown love, everybody. Whoop, whoop. We'll see you next time. Bye.